Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Poco Lab. Now, 2021 just came to an end, and last year we were able to launch four awesome products for fans all over the world. It was a crucial year for us as it was a year of growth and product development with our team members and brand. We would not be able to achieve what we have so far without the support of our fans and users. So I just want to take a moment to thank you guys, our fans and our users. But even more so, I want to thank our Poco community family. For you to spread the word about our Poco brand and our Poco devices, it's always heartwarming to see. So in the spirit of the new year and to celebrate what we have achieved so far, I'm going to do the first giveaway of 2022. So over here are some of the products that was launched last year. The Poco F3, the X3 Pro, and the newest addition to the Poco family, the Poco M4 Pro 5G. Now you will have a chance for winning these products. Just wait till the end of the video to find out how. Now before we release the rules, I want to share some of the stories behind these amazing products. An insider view of how and what kind of decisions were made by the team. Now to do that, I have invited a product manager here today. Our special guest here at Poco Lab today, he's a soccer fanatic, a product geek, and most importantly, he's been working as a product manager ever since the legendary Poco F1. Now let's welcome Jung Yu, also known as JW, and hopefully squeeze some information out of him. Hey JW. Hi Angus, thank you for having me. Hello everybody. Now, I want to start with your story here at Poco. Mm. I know you've been here ever since the beginning. Yeah. So let's take a quick trip down to memory lane and share some of the stories that you've experienced here at Poco. Okay, so as you know, Poco F1 has been a big hit ever since it's launched in 2018. And it's the perfect enforcement of what we are about, mm -hmm. which is bringing up everything you need, nothing you don't, for our users. So it's very personal to me. Not only it's because it's very the first model, it's because even now I still see people bringing it up on social media and saying how much they love it. It's really rewarding to see that a product that can resonate with the audience so much. It is the one that started what we have here today. Correct. I think we can all agree that the Poco F1 was a legendary device. Now let's talk about the product we launched last year. When it comes to our X and M series, one of the biggest thing I think is their signature ID design. Mm -hmm. You know, from the big eye-catching chromatic Poco logo on the back of the X3 Pro, mm -hmm. and our fans' favorite, Poco Yellow on our M series. It's funny you mentioned that, Angus. I happened to bring some back panels when we first developing the X and M series. Wow. Yeah, so let's start with the X3 Pro and X3 NFC. Okay. Yeah. We use a special technical wound manufacturing. Okay. Yeah. Where we use the lasers to do nano texturing. Mm. And depending on how many coding we did on top of it, the effect will be presented differently. It wow. took thousands of tests thousands. to get to the perfect effect. But finally, it's worth it. Yeah, honestly, I think it's very impressive. And I generally think you guys don't get enough credit for the design of the X3 and the X3 Pro. Now, what about our famous Poco Yellow on our M series? I mean, when it first launched on the Poco M3, mm -hmm. everyone loved it. What are your thoughts on it? Well, I'm glad you asked. You know, uh, Poco Yellow is based on the color of the Poco logo. Mm. That's obvious. Wow. Yeah, very eye-catching, of course. Yes. But what I'm really trying to say is that it's really hard to manufacture. It almost didn't make it to the market. Really? Yeah. How come? Speaking of manufacturing, the yield of the production of the Poco Yellow is pretty low, mm. which means a certain percentage of the finished product will be unusable. Wow. Just like this. You see it? Oh, okay. Wow, I really do see that. But we really want to introduce this signature color to our Poco fans. Of course. So despite all the difficulties and challenges, mm -hmm. we made it work. Awesome. And I'm sure our fans really appreciate it. I didn't really know it was so hard to make the phone yellow. But at the result, it's very stunning. 
Now, we're talking about products today. You're the product manager. I'm known as the product marketing manager, mm -hmm. but I'm also known as the Poco Leaks King. <laughs> so, do you have anything for me to leak today? <laughs> no way, no way, Angus. You gotta get me in trouble. <laughs> Maybe later. It's pretty early. We have something exciting in store for our fans in 2022, for sure. Awesome, I'm very glad to hear that, and I'm sure our fans very appreciate that. But what about our 2021 flagship, the Poco F3? What is your favorite thing about the F3? Well, that's a hard one. Mm -hmm. To be honest, from its powerful and faster processor yep. to its ultra clear and highly contrasted display, everything is just perfect. Yeah, but if you had to choose one specifications, only one, which one would it be and why? I will have to say it's screen. Mm. The hardware is really at the flagship level. Right. The E4 AMOLED display is truly one of the most beautiful display I have ever seen. Right. It has a Delta E number at just a 0 0.35. Wow. Which means it will restore truest color and truly offer a flagship viewing experience. And this is just to get me really excited. Yeah, you do seem a little bit excited. <laughs> when talking about this, but is there any specific reason why we would put E4 AMOLED into our POCO F-Series? You know, to have these hardcore specs and bring them on one of the POCO devices is very important to me. To be able to install features that usually only sit in the high-end, thousand mm. dollar smartphones, yeah. we bring it down to F-Series. Cut the price and cost just in half. Right. It's just meaningful in a way. True, well you have shared your reasons and I want to share mine. You know I'm a huge gamer myself, so I appreciate the high refresh rate along with the E4 AMOLED. For games that supports up to 120 FPS, the experience is actually unbelievable. <laughs> I know what you mean. I play game myself. Mm. Yeah, so we should honestly play game more <laughs> each other. Yeah, sure. But however, I do think we're going to become very busy soon with all the upcoming products in 2022. Yeah, we can still sneak a game or two during the launch break. That's true. But you are right, we have a ton to work on. Yep. All right, I'm excited to see what JW brings for us um, in the upcoming 2022 product line. And you will not be disappointed. I'll take your word for it then. Well, thank you for joining us on Poco Lab today. Honor to be here as well. Now, that was JW, our product manager of Poco which is also our first guest at the Poco Lab series. Now it is time for a giveaway like I promised earlier. All you need to do is to go on Poco Global on Twitter and participate in the last day of our New Year countdown campaign. Leave your comment for your own special Poco moment of 2021. It can be your favorite launch or the first picture you have taken when you unboxed your own Poco phone. It can be anything that is Poco related. I do hope you enjoy these stories from our product manager. And remember to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Now lastly, Happy New Year everyone. During the winter season, it can be cold, but also warm with your loved ones. For me, I want to take a moment to say thank you to our POCO team. They're very much alike my family and simply has been amazing all year around. This year, we aim to bring even more amazing products. Till then, Stay tuned. Of course, it's been a pleasure as always. I'll see you on the next one.